Hello and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr. Barton, where every week I pick you out a lovely GCSE Maths question that's been uploaded to my Diagnostic Questions website and which is causing students problems. And we tackle the question and hopefully help solve many of those problems. That's the plan anyway. So this question has been kindly provided by OCR and it's a classic. And it's actually new GCSE material. This has never appeared on the GCSE before, but you kind of know it already. So what does it say? Oh, flipping out. <laughs> Which of the following is the correct error interval? Fortunately, I wanted to highlight that actually. Six centimeters rounded to the nearest centimeter. Okay. Now the problem is, you're probably used to rounding things to the nearest centimetre and that's kind of like a separate topic. And then when you look at the answers and you see these inequality notation, that's a separate topic as well. But what's happened here is those two topics have come together in beautiful harmony. That's the plan anyway. So can we get to the bottom of these two topics and combine our rounding skills with our inequality skills? Of course we can. We'll be fine. OK, so we've got six centimetres. You know I love to draw a diagram for these question of the weeks, and you can even draw one for, for inequalities like this. So imagine we've got ourselves a little scale here. I'm going to draw it right the way along, and I'll bang that up there. And imagine that this here is five centimeters, that there is six centimeters, and this little thing up here is seven centimeters. And I need to essentially find all the values that when I round them to the nearest centimeter, I end up at six centimeters here. I'm not allowed to go to five and I'm not allowed to go to seven because that wouldn't be six centimeters to the nearest centimeter. So for example, if I took something like 6.1, then that, if I round it to the nearest centimeter, yeah, that's going to six. So 6.1, he's in the gang. How high can I go up here before things start tipping over to seven? Because for example, if I took 6.9, that's bad news. He's going over, he's going to the dark side, he's going over to seven. I only want things that go to six. Where's my cutoff point? Well, the cutoff point has got to be slap bang in the middle, right? The cutoff point has got to be at 6.5. And I guess your only question is, can it be 6.5? What does 6.5 round to exactly? Well, 6.5, if you know your laws of rounding, 0.5s round upwards. So 6.5 rounds upwards. So you can't quite be 6.5, but you can be everything up to, because for example, 6.49, that's gonna round down. So it's not true to say 6.4, but everything up to 6.5, but not quite 6.5 is in there. So how am I going to write that? So what I might start doing here is I might start writing down the right hand side of this. So X cannot be quite 6.5. So I'm going to write that like that. It's got to be a little bit less than 6.5. Okay. What about my other side? Let's treat myself to a bit of orange here. How low can I go? Well, something like 5.8. He's going up. Some at, so he's in the gang. Some at like 5.2. Nah, 5.2 is going down to 5. He's not in the gang. Again, my cutoff point is going to be slap bang in the middle at 5.5. But can I have 5.5? Which gang's 5.5 in? Well, we said before that 0.5 is round up. So 5.5 is in the gang. He's rounding up. So X can be 5.5. So when I write this, I've got to say that X can be equal to 5.5. And that's where we get our final inequality that's going to get it. Let's have a look, see if that's there somewhere. Whew, lucky, my lucky day. There he is there. But you know what I'm going to say now? You've only had half the fun if you leave it at that. What, why might some of these wrong answers be suggested by students? Where, why, where might 5.5 to 6.5 B. Well, technically, it's, well, not technically, it's right. It's kind of close, right? But what students have forgotten is that it can be 5.5. So they needed to change that little symbol there. Okay. What about B? B's unlucky, right? B, they've got the idea again, it's between 5.5 and 6.5, but they've got the symbols the wrong way around. They've forgotten that 6.5 rounds upwards and 5.5 rounds upwards. So they've got to get those the other way around. And C's a classic mistake. C's looking good. All those uh, numbers in between those two do round to six to the nearest centimeter. The problem is, what about 
He rounds to six as well, but he's not included in that inequality. A classic. And you know what I always like to ask as well? Is there any other answer that you'd include that you think might trip up students, might, might expose some misconceptions? So if I was to come up with another answer, I might be tempted to say something like this. Do you fancy this one? In fact, let me write it like this. Uh, let's say, uh, in fact, I don't know why I changed that. I was absolutely spot on. Six to seven. What about something like that? People might think any value that starts with six is going to be six centimeters to the nearest centimeter. So something like that might catch students out. So, here we go. When it comes to rounding and this inequality notation, you've got to make sure your rounding's up to scratch and you've got to make sure you understand how to read and interpret inequalities. If you know those two things, then this isn't actually new material. It's just old material, just kind of combined together in different ways, okay? So my advice would be try the rest of this quiz out on diagnostic questions. Just check your, uh, you're happy with that. Um, and then hop onto Mr. Barton Maths, try some videos, worksheets, all that kind of thing to really brush up on this topic. Because I'll tell you what, it's coming up in this GCSE. And I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.